Hello, thank you so much for joining us yet again for another interesting episode of The Digest. My name is Francesca. As one of the fastest growing cities in Southern Africa, the Zaman capital Osaka faces numerous threats to its water security. This is especially the case for low-income areas where access to water remains a challenge. Now, one such area was George Compound, a peri-urban community of more than 200,000 residents located in the western part of Lusaka. Many residents used to fetch their water at public kiosks serviced by the local utility company's well fields. However, some residents fetched it from contaminated or heavily polluted shallow wells. To address this problem in 2021, the Lusaka Water Supply and Sanitation Company implemented a water supply improvement project in George Compound and the surrounding industrial area. The project was financed by Zambian breweries at a cost of 150,000 US dollars. It involved the drilling of a borehole and the installation of a 3.4 kilometer pipeline to George Compound. In celebrating World Environment Day, planting trees was Zambian Breweries' prolonged commitment to support, protect the groundwater reserve at the George Water Plant for the people of George to continue to access safe and clean water. One of the greatest brewers in the world, Zambia Breweries, in partnership with Lusaka Water and Sanitation on Friday, 24th June 2022, undertook a tree planting ceremony at the George Boho site as part of the commemoration of the World Environment Day, which takes place annually on 5th June. Liquor producing private business in the name of Zambian Breweries has become a key partner for Lusaka Water and Sanitation Company and a champion of environmental stewardship and advocate for improved access to safe drinking water for all. Zambian Breweries constructed the first boho benefiting over 40,000 people of George Compound while Germany Agency of International Cooperation GIZ financed the second borehole which is equally benefiting 40,000 people in Chunga compound. Managing Director, Lusaka Water and Sanitation Engineer Jonathan Kampata recognizes the importance of the utility company providing a service for the inhabitants of George to access clean water and further explains why it is important to plant trees if purification of groundwater is to be protected. We are proud once more to host you here in George, uh, together with our partners, Zambian Breweries, GIZ, and Busi, who are key uh, players in enhancing environmental stewardship as well as water security uh, in Osaka. All this we are doing uh, to improve access to safe and safe drinking water. George Township is like many other peri urban areas in Osaka, which are fast growing and has densely po populated areas. The continued growth in population comes with increasing demand uh, for water to use at household level. As a utility company, we continue to embark on various initiatives to overcome uh, the challenge of inadequate water supply and one of these challenges is to have adequate infrastructure that is able to produce and deliver the water where it is uh, required it is for this reason that this facility was put in place and started operat operational in november 2020 the facility is able to run for 24 hours and pumps water to an elevated tank within George. And we've seen the increase in water supply previously from about an average of eight hours <coughs> to about 18 hours. Uh, the other four hours of 24 hours in a day are used to fill the, the tank. So I'm sure the residents will testify that there's been a great improvement uh, in the supply. Even the complaints we used to receive from this area have greatly uh, re reduced. 
Specifically, this facility supplies areas in, near Baraston, Chukatani, Mandimba, and the Ben, the ben area. The borehole gives us about 900,000 uh, 900, liters per day, which is about 900 uh, cubic meters. And we are supplying this to over 1,800 uh, households, as well as the 55 kiosks which are scattered around the area, which serves a further uh, 5,000 uh, inhabitants. In addition, the support from Zambian breweries has resulted in the construction of one of the boroughs, the one which is just behind me here. And the one on the far right there was constructed with support uh, from GIZ, whereby we'll be delivering water to Chunga. Uh, we've extended networks in Chunga by 66 kilometers, and uh, that will benefit um, our residents uh, in that area. Uh, in addition to the support from GIZ, we have secured 20 boho sites to increase on the uh, security because vandalism is also one of the vices uh, which impacts on our infrastructure and makes us unable to supply uh, water on a continuous, uh, on a continuous basis. As a utility, we also have a, an ambitious program to go green. So it's one of the initiatives whereby we are, we are greening our, our facilities uh, by planting trees, but also we are going into solar energy pumping for our facilities, uh, given the increasing costs of electricity, but also just to have a, a reliable uh, supply, not to disrupt uh, supply when there are problems with electricity supply. In light of the aforementioned, this event we're having to, to, to today uh, is important, also not only from an environmental point of view, but it's specifically to look at the water management, the water management point of view. Uh, if we plant more trees, it means that we we'll reduce on the runoff, and by reducing on, of, on the runoff when it rains, we we'll also increase on the, infu the, the infiltration. When we have infiltration, it means we have more water in the ground to store and to use during uh, the dry uh, period. The 2022 World Environmental Day campaign, which has ha hashtag only one F, calls for collective transformation, transformative action on a global scale to celebrate and protect and restore our planet. This places a responsibility on all of us to work together uh, for a common uh, good. The Global World Environment Day theme was 1F and is a call for joint efforts and action to government, communities and individuals while rejoicing, defending and repairing our one and only Earth. Indeed, to our partners as well, the Saka Water, the Chairman, the MD and your team, and all our partners, NOASCO, GIZ, WWF, Lucy, we want to commend you for working together with Zambian Brewers. Because for us to reach this stage where we have a water supply facility, it's because of a lot of people working together. Yes, Zambian Breweries and GIZ did put in the financing, but beyond that, people came in Usaka Water supplied labor, the Ministry of Water through Honorable Mike in Porsche, they're helping us with the policy direction. And also the morale boost that we need to continue to push forward. So we just want to say thank you so much for that. We say this because as Zambian Brewers PLC, Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we believe that water is a critical ingredient to life and sustainable social economic development. We cannot develop without water. We need water. Indeed, no water, and for us at ZB, no beer. I think my colleagues know that. No water, no beer. No water, no soft drinks. It's out. So water for us is serious business. Water is life. Yes, 
We know sanitation is health, but it's water that brings us all together to have the life that we have. This project was financed at an amount of 150,000 US dollars commissioned last year in March 2021, and indeed saw the improvement of supply of water to the tune of the numbers that earlier on mentioned. And later on, our colleagues, JIZ, they came on board and they have assisted the construction of another network of pipeline getting into Chunga. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, what has been described above, what I've spoken about, is just phase one. But phase two is about caring for the environment. Caring for the environment. For us to conserve water, certainly we need to look about the land, plant trees among other reasons. And it's for this reason that we are here today to plant the trees as part of phase two. What about phase three? Phase three is long term, where we are thinking of constructing a learning center of excellence and environmental management at its site. We can have that idea, dreaming big, thinking big for our people. But we know that as ZB, we're not going to achieve that alone. We know that we're going to stand on the shoulders of the Ministry of Water Development and Sanitation, on the shoulders of Lusaka Water Supply, on the shoulders of your community here, GIZ, and many other partners, so that together we can help our people that need those services. As Zambian breweries, we are further delighted by the fact that we are acting in compliance of SDGs, SDG number 17, which it has been spoken about, partnership SDG number six, talking to clean water and sanitation, and among others, SDG number 18, climate action. We are doing this, we know that we only have one Earth. You know that in the universe there are many, many galaxies. In our galaxy are many planets. But there is only one, there is only one Earth. So let us therefore work together in upholding SDG number 17 and many other SDGs to drive forward sustainable development and whilst at the same time caring for our planet. Indeed, there is only one, one Earth.
So it's really an honor to be here this afternoon to take part in this tree planting exercise at this water supply plant. Um, because yes, it was launched here about a year ago, um, and to see it actually working and, and people benefiting from it, it is really a wonderful thing. Um, so um, as many of the people who work in the water sector know, an activity like this is exciting because after all, water is life. And that is really why we're here um, to celebrate that. We're also here to protect uh, Lusaka because as also was mentioned, our planet is in danger. And tree planting is an effective way of mitigating against encroachment, erosion, overall cl uh, climate change, and any other, many other things that put groundwater at risk, which um, as um, uh, Mr. Kampata said, is about 60% of the resource that we use for water supply in Lusaka. So I'm gonna give a little lesson, very short, about how climate change um, affects the water cycle. Because we have to keep reminding ourselves about climate change, and um, it does affect access to clean water because climate change affects carbon emissions, okay? And carbon emissions are not good for the environment, just like when you have a car, your car has carbon emissions, that dirt. The, the trees are there to help clean that up. All that, 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 that dirt and grime and things coming from smokestacks, the trees are there to help clean it up. We need them. But how does this affect water? Well, when you have high carbon emissions, it affects, it increases water evaporation, okay? And drier air grabs that water, but as it's grabbing the water, it's also um, drying up the land. In turn, their climate change, which is this increase in carbon emissions, um, is increasing drought, and it's making the ground get harder. So the air, which has sucked up all that water, okay, is holding more water, but eventually it has to release it. And when it releases it, that's when we get these major storms, lots of uh, rain at once, um, heavier precipitation. It's stronger storms and stronger rainfall. And as we all know here in Lusaka, that also means floods. So now we have floods and we have all this water, but it can't really permeate the ground as easily in many places because the ground is too hard. On the other end, we also might have the water sits there and as it's sitting there and it's being flooding, it's, it's getting hazardous waste and solid waste and all that dirt and that's seeping into the ground as well. So when water is absorbed with hazardous and fecal waste, um, it really contaminates our groundwater reserves. That's why we need, as partners, to work together to find places like this where we do research and we do investigations to find water that's cleaner and safer. And that's what we have here today. All of this water has, it's been tested, the, the zone has been picked, and we're bringing up cleaner water here today. But that doesn't mean we stop. It means we continue and move on to plan number two, number three. Plan number two, putting in the trees. So we have an urgent need to combat carbon emissions to protect the earth, which holds our drinking water, much of it here in Lusaka. So we have a safer future by planting trees. In attendance as guest of honor at the tree planting event in commemoration of World Environment Day was Minister of Water Development and Sanitation, Mike Mposha, an area member of parliament for Munali constituency. From the outset, let me hasten to mention that I'm grateful to have been accorded this opportunity to officiate at this very important occasion of the tree planting exercise jointly organized by Lusaka Water Supply and Sanitation Company and the Zambian Breweries Limited PLOC. This is particularly because the New Dawn government, under the leadership of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Akainde Ichilema, places high premium on environmental protection and provision of access to clean and safe water to all Zambians, including those in the peri-urban 
and the rural areas. Ladies and gentlemen, part of the consequences for not prioritizing environmental protection in the long past has been that of climate change. Some of the effects of climate change have already been spoken to by Gigi. As you know, Zambia has not been spared by the effect of climate change. The recent experience of drought and floods during the 2021-2022 rain season is just one reflection of the effects or the grave effects of climate change. It is therefore for this reason that the 2022 campaign of only one A requires collective transformative action on a community, country, region, global, to scale up the protection of our planet Earth. So we must all work together in an effort to, pro to protect our planet. Porsche implored stakeholders and community members to make environmental care a daily routine and encouraged Zambian breweries to continue championing their agenda for communities they operate and beyond to sustain provision of accessing clean, safe water and environmental protection in a bid to protect planet Earth. I'm therefore encouraged by the efforts demonstrated by Lusaka Water and Sanitation Company and the Zambian breweries who have embedded environmental management as part of the day-to-day -day operations. For me, this is very critical as the availability of water also depends on a sound ecosystem which in turn depends on how we take care of our environment. It is vital that we do our utmost best in caring for this one planet where life is assured for mankind. Let us not destroy Mother Earth, but care for the environment by carrying out activities such as the planting of trees, which is one way of sustaining and protecting our environment. It is also a sure way of sustaining our water sources which is very critical for the mandate of my ministry. Sustainable management and supply of clean and safe water. I therefore urge the private sector or the private players to emulate Zambian Breweries PLOC's efforts of creating partnerships for the sustainable development. As we implement activities aimed at protecting the environment, we should remember that the decisions we are making today must have a positive impact on the future generations. The future generation should not falter us on sustaining the earth together we must and we should create a legacy that will have a lasting impact on future generations. The minister took advantage of the opportunity to appeal to residents of George and Chunga communities to equally take care, maintain and secure the facility and equipment to prohibit vandalism so that private businesses can continue to extend support to other communities. I must emphasize here that as a ministry we use water as the first line of defense in fighting diseases. In the fight against cholera, in the fight against COVID-19, people must have access to clean water which they must use to wash their hands in order to avert the spreading or the further spreading of cholera or indeed COVID-19. 
let me use this opportunity to appeal or indeed to urge you the residents of George compound as well as Chunga compound who are the key beneficiaries of what we are talking about today to ensure that you guard these facilities generously to ensure that we secure these facilities often a time we spend a lot of money in this sector to come up with these good projects but the high levels of vandalism in communities such as this one usually a create a situation where a good, a well-intended project such as this one ends up as a white elephant because most of the things are stolen, uh, the network is just punctured, vandalized, and to this effect we will be consulting each other's government to see to it that the scrap metal business is properly regulated because in the compounds most of the installations particularly the water installations you find that sometimes you install meters at a huge cost at a big cost and then people just go to steal small metals that are holding the meter in order to go and sell as a scrap metal i therefore wish to reiterate my call to the residents of Chunga, to the residents of George Compound, that we must work together to ensure that we avert uh, activities that border on vandalism. By so doing, we'll be encouraging more private sector players to come in and assist us. Because then, they will realize also that you, the people, who are meant to be assisted by such projects are appreciating what um, they are investing in your communities. But if today we sink a borehole here, we lay a network, uh, as it's also being proposed, we go to Lusaka Waste, we start abstracting water there, we lay the network, then you start stealing the pipes, or people start stealing the pipes, just to go and make small amounts of money then it discourages uh, you know, the private sector to come and partner with us to save you. This is something worth commending. And I wish to commend Zambian Breweries, Lusaka Water Supply and Sanitation Company for this collaboration. In phase one, Zambia Breweries sponsored the construction of the first Boho, while GIZ Zambia sponsored the construction of Boho 2. Commemoration of World Environment Day under the global theme One Earth resulted in the planting of trees at the George Water Plant site. And the importance of trees to rainfall and water supply include Improvement of water cycle Reduction of runoff Improving the replenishment of the water table, filtration of water pollutants, and control of floods and regulation of storm water. Therefore, recommendations made for sustainable water supply and rainfall are through natural regeneration by land protection, aggressive afforestation, forest conservation, and sound management as well as policy formation and implementation. enjoyed watching that documentary. Now evidence from the tree planting exercise, conclusion is drawn on efforts towards tree planting campaigns to ensure ready water supply for the ever increasing human population and mitigating hostile environmental conditions resulting from drought and desertification. Play your part and plant a tree today. You can give us your feedback on this documentary by emailing us at documentaries at damontvzambia.com. From me, Francesca Piribanda and my crew, thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.